Corey Mann, Poseidon Ponds and Landscaping. I am out here on a site consultation in the lovely April months of Michigan. Late April actually and it's snowing, but I wanted to shoot this video real quick um, just to talk a little bit about uh, detention, retention, stormwater ponds um, because we get a lot of calls for it and there's a lot of misunderstanding out there uh, when it comes to these ponds. So I'm gonna turn you back around so this pond right here is a stormwater pond for this neighborhood here um, and basically these stormwater ponds have a function their main function is to detain and retain the stormwater that's coming off all of the streets and the yards within the neighborhood to hold that water filter that water and release that water so when these ponds are brand new they're in very very good shape um, they quickly get established a lot of plant growth um, but not so long after uh, many of our clients and many associations neighborhoods across the united states start to uh, experience really uh, bad water conditions uh, this one in particular uh, had a homeowner approach me and tell me it looks radioactive in the summer um, after looking a little bit closer at the water and the conditions here, it's actually water meal. Uh, water meal is a surface floating plant. It's very tiny. It's one of the smallest plants, if not the smallest actual plant um, in the plant kingdom. And it's actually going to feed off of all the nutrients in the water and uh, really create this thick kind of algae looking bright green surface um, that oftentimes makes people feel like something's really wrong um, and it's really shading the water so it, it's essentially helping um, it does not necessarily look good um, by any means and people who kind of live right on the pond don't want to see that right they want to see an open clear pond with pristine water um, and sometimes in many cases actually stormwater ponds just don't produce that effect um, again, you're talking salts, detergents, um, oils, all kinds of things. Anything that goes in that street drain is going to end up in this um, water system right here, this stormwater pond. And then way on the other end, you can see there's an overflow, right? So all that nutrient-laden water, all that storm water comes in here. It gets detained in here. This thing fills up and then it flows out that other end of the natural watershed. That's essentially the goal of this stormwater pond. So hopefully this video uh, gives you a little bit more insight on what a stormwater pond is. Uh, we do our best um, to maintain these things and reverse the process by adding beneficial bacteria, muck digesters, enzymes, um, and even if it's possible, an aeration system to circulate the water, add oxygen, and make it more ideal for all those great beneficial things that are uh, meant or nature's way of cleaning up the water. So again, hopefully this helps you out. A little bit more understanding on stormwater detention, retention ponds. And for more information, definitely visit our website, www.poseidonponds.com and stay warm.